Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we would be discussing about web driver interface. So the most important po point about web driver is it's an interface. Let us first try to understand what's an interface. We would be taking the example in the Oracle website. So an interface is a group of related methods with empty bodies. So for uh, in our case, the web driver has defined some methods like closing the browser, opening the browser. So these methods, the drivers which are implementing it, in our case it would be uh, Firefox or Chrome browsers, have to implement it. So there would be just uh, method names in web driver interface and our Firefox browser, it will be defining what the values will be. So that is basically an example. I will give this link if anyone is interested can go ahead and see what are, what is an interface in detail. And the web driver is used to control the browser. That is the main functionality of the web driver interface. It even helps us select the web elements, individual elements in that browser and it provides some debugging tools. So here you can see an example of how web driver is. So it is an interface and all the browsers like Firefox, Chrome and IE implement the interface. Now the web driver has multiple nested classes. Web driver is an interface but inside it itself there are multiple classes. Let us check one by one. There is an option called navigation. We have discussed it in the previous video. It helps us go back forward, refresh the browser and all those uh, navigation related options. Then there is another nested class called options it helps us if you can see manage the cookies and get some log timeout values etc then we have the target locator let us go and check its methods so it has an option to get the alerts get the frames so there are some websites which have frames and web elements so this class would be useful to navigate across them also we have a timeout class it provides us with option to implicitly wait this is an important topic wait we will be discussing in detail but implicit wait is if you want to make all the elements wait for a specific time we have another option to wait for the page store the set script timeout is if you are calling asynchronous apis like javascript inside your script you can make them how long you have to wait and we have the window so window is our another nested class this gives us the option to select the browser and make it of different sizes like full screen and set the positions etc now let us see about the web driver methods it provides a method to get the window handle so if, if you're working on a browser if you want to say what is that window then it gives an option to get that current window handle. It even gives us an option to get multi if there are multiple windows, get all the handle names. So it is easy to switch between them. Then there is a method called manage, which, which internally gives us an option. Uh, it, it is the nested class called option. So all the option methods will be available. Then we have the navigate. It is for the nested class navigate. Then switch to, it will be helping us with the target locators. So basically the three methods given here are for the nested class and two methods are for window handle. There are other methods also like close. This will close the web browser which we have opened. If there are multiple browsers, it will close the first browser which we are currently using. Then find elements. As we told in the beginning, it's, it's a very important point we will be discussing in detail but it helps us to find a specific element inside the website get we have already discussed to navigate to go to a particular url get current url and get current page source and get title these methods we can use for assertions to make sure we are in the current page correct page then there's a quit method the main difference between close and quit is Qt will close all the web sites which are open, all the windows which are open. However, close will only close the one which is in the current one. So I go, hope you guys got an idea. So there are multiple nested classes and methods. These methods are very important. So please go through them one more time guys. 
and i hope you guys got an idea thank you